Hey everyone, before we get into this video, it's your friendly neighborhood Halise reminding you to stay safe while you're out in these streets. I want to make sure you survive this pandemic and have a long, healthy life filled with love. So if you do need to go out into the world, make sure you have a mask on that covers both your nose and your mouth. Here in the United States, we account for more than a quarter of the world's COVID-19 deaths, and we only make up 4% of the population of the world. Let that sink in, fam. Let that sink in. So make sure you're wearing a mask and when you come home, make sure to wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. Get all up in the nooks and crannies, amen? Oh, and don't forget to moisturize afterwards. All right, friendly neighborhood all is done. Stay safe, y'all. Let's get into this. Hey, everyone. It is me, Halise, endeavoring to persevere. As always, if you're new here, I make videos about my chaotic good life. Subscribe, follow, social media, you know. <laughs> Just got back from going to get some morning coffee just on the river, just to get out of the apartment, you know what I'm saying? I need to get out <laughs> and just do something. And that's kind of been my thing when I'm feeling a little stuck. I just, you know, put on my mask, walk down the river, get a coffee, come back. And I'm, I'm, it's surprising how much that's just enough. So I'm currently still failing through this dumb cane. I think I made, a, by the time y'all see this video, it'll probably be maybe a week or two since I have made my other dumb cane video where I showed you how I was trying to switch it to Lekka to hopefully save it. And this dumb cane fitting to be my failure, real talk. And one of y'all had recommended that maybe I just put it in water. And that seemed like a really good idea. And so I went ahead and did that. I put it in water. I took it out of Lekka and just put it in water and was monitoring it. You know, I would come and kind of take a look at it every day or so, every other day, just make sure it was good. And then, <sighs> root rot, y'all. Root rot got all the way in, all the way into the plant. I went ahead and took off all of the rotted roots, which was all of the roots. <laughs> and went ahead and put it back in Lekka. Mind you, at this point, I had already put another plant into the container, the peanut butter container I'd used for this one, so I put it in a different jar that I haven't put a reservoir in yet. Um, but I wanted to, like, I'm still, like, I can't quit this plant, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I'm not ready to be done. Currently, he is in Lekka again. Uh, and I've, I've filled up the jar enough with water just to where I know that about the tip of the last bit of root he has, just the very tip of it, feels that there's water in there. So I put him on my dining table because it's right in front of my balcony window, which is a really big window. And I put him on the table because if he's on the table, then he'll get good light, but not burning light, if that makes sense. I guess indirect, that's probably the word. Indirect light. <laughs> I don't know, I just can't quit this plant. Like I just don't want it to fail. And I think it's because I just know of its former glory. And so I'm like, I know you can survive. You have to fight. I am making arrangements for the end. You know, I am prepared to let him go, but I will not go down without a fight. All that being has said though, one of y'all had commented on the last video where I talked about this dumb cane and you mentioned, wow, I really appreciate that you are showing a failure and like, that's it, like that's the video. <laughs> well, originally when I shot the dumb cane, I also filmed all of my other plants that I had already switched to Lekka. As you may or may not know, I'm currently in the process of switching all of my house plants to Lekka ideally. Um, because I just like it and it just makes a lot more sense in an apartment. I had filmed all the other plants that I have currently successfully switched to Lekka as well because I felt like, man, if I just end it with this dumb cane looking sad, 
how will people feel? <laughs> but then when I got into the editing room and edited that video, I did, I was, I felt the same thing that you had mentioned, that you appreciated that I just showed a failure and that was it. And so to do the complete opposite, I'm reminding you that I'm currently still failing with this dumb cane, but also I did, like I said, film all the other plants that I have successfully switched. And so we're gonna show you that footage now, just so there is a little bit of, you know, some successful content <laughs> for you. <laughs> But yes, I am currently actively failing still, and I will continue to fail, and that's okay. That's how you learn, that's how you get better. So, I'm gonna cut to that, and uh, I'll see you when I see you. Now, about half of my plants are switched to Lega. Progress. I'll show you first the Monstera. Monstera, look at that and you love to see it. So as you can see, it is happy. It is very happy. It is doing quite well. Its roots have roots and yeah. One of y'all had commented with this plant that you said that um, LOL to when she inevitably busts this pot because it is gonna bust out of this pot and you weren't wrong commenter you weren't wrong i feel like i am definitely going to have to not have it in this for very long <laughs> and put it in something way way bigger so yeah i need to figure that out but monster is doing quite well very happy i'm not sure what this next plant is i think it's another monstera i think it is but I feel like it's also could be just some kind of off-brand cousin to the Monstera that I'm not aware of because it doesn't quite have the same like root system as this one. And I bought it for 10 bucks from like a plant guy, what are those called? Farmer's market. <laughs> I bought it for 10 bucks from a plant person off a of farmer's market and it seems to be doing really well and like a, I switched it over when I first bought it and no complaints for it so far. What else? I've switched quite a few things to Lekka since we last hung out. Both of my, so y'all let me know that these were called golden poth, poth, pothoses. And so I have switched them. They are in Lekka now because as you can see, they were getting too much sun, I think, and we're starting to get frayed. And then also bugs, again, <laughs> were taking over the pothos. So I switched it to Lekka and put it in a pretty medium light spot. I would say it's a little on the darker side over there and it seems to be coming back. I have to, I ended up breaking it up into two. So here's the other one. It is in a strawberry fruit spread jar. Um, but yeah, this one I think is doing better than the other one. This one seems to really be coming back well. So that's good. I'm excited about this guy. I have two snake plants. This is the smaller of the two, except it's like super tall. You see, look how, still going. So this one's super tall, but it's my smaller of the two snake plants that I have. Went ahead and switched this one to Lekka. And from what I can tell from other people in the community, snake plants tend to do kind of well anywhere, doing anything ever. So I'm not terribly worried. This is the last plant I switched in my last plant video for y'all. Um, but I didn't really talk about it, I just kind of switched it. Because the point of that video, it wasn't about plants. It was about Black Lives Mattering. We'll see how this one does. Gottfried. Gottfried, my, what are these called again? Friendship, Pila, Pilia, Pilalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalal
Like, let me try to get him out of the dirt as safely as possible. Um, and then the propagation broke off. And I was like, no, it's too soon because I've tried to propagate Gottfried before based off the little sprouts that came out. But then I ended up, I, I did it too soon. They weren't ready and they ended up dying. And so I was like, no. <laughs> But I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna put this little baby baby in some Lekka and just see how he do. And I sat him in a sunny corner in Lekka for like, it's been a couple weeks. It's been about like two, three weeks. And there's little sprouts in there. Do you see it? Little peas and sprouts. <laughs> These aren't peas and sprouts, but like, look, it's a little baby Gottfried. It's a little baby Gottfried. Oh, oh. And he's got little pokey pokes out. So, yeah, y'all. Gottfried the second is in bloom or is happening slowly but surely. And that's the beauty of Lekka. My neighbor, though, gave me a little, ooh, I need to switch out the water. You look a little greasy here. Okay. Um, my neighbor gave me another little Monstera clipping, but y'all look at these roots. I messed up. I let the water get too low one day and I came back and these edges were just crispy, bruh. I was like, dude, I'm so sorry. And um, now I'm trying to see if I can save him. I'm, I feel like I can. I feel like I can. I just have to be diligent now and just care. I just have to be diligent and care a lot. Uh, but pray for this Monstera clipping that it is revived by its murder, <laughs> by its negligent owner. <laughs> We shall see. Anyway, that is everything that's been going on with me in regards to my plants. I am probably gonna be in the process of starting to switch my bigger plants. So I have a fiddle fig that I'm going to switch to Lekka and I will film for y'all. Um, I'm also gonna start to switch over my dracanas. So my corn plants, gonna start switching them over to Lekka just to see how it goes, just to see how they do. And then it's about keeping them alive. <laughs> In the comments below, let me know everything I'm doing wrong. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let me know what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> and I'll see you when I see you.